Ultima Coupe. It's the prettier of Nissan's two Ultima models and the fancier with a base price that starts around 23 grand. Let's see what you get for that not insignificant money and of course, check the tech. Now the Ultima Coupe doesn't come as stripped as you can get an Ultima sedan. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, an Ultima sedan can be had wired for a stereo, but without one. That's pretty rare these days. Our car comes at least stock with an AM, FM, CD system with six speakers, or bump it up to this better head unit, which is in between stock and navigation, and you do get an LCD display. That's a 4.3 inch color LCD, and it's also got a variety of the most common inputs. AM, FM, no HD radio on this guy. CD is up here a single slot. Auxiliary brings up several sources, including front and center iPod integration. That's down here in the console through USB. There's even a special iPod menu button up here so you can shortcut right to your iPod. This system is very iPod oriented. As you can see, the display uses the spaciousness of the LCD to really give you some good iPod functionality. Now, it doesn't look like an iPod, of course. That's a look and feel thing, but it does kind of navigate like one. This is that USB I was telling you about down here. It can be used to hook up your iPod using your iPod cable, or you can drop a USB thumb drive in there and read the files off of that as well. Bump the aux button again, you'll get to the standard aux jack. That's the analog one, which is right there on the dash. And hit it again to get to, for some reason, satellite radio, which normally is over on the AM FM toggler or has its own button, but for here they bury it under aux. Now you can also tell the output side of this guy is upgraded. We've got the Bose branding up here. Uh, nine speakers around the cabin when you go to this upgraded audio system. And this guy also has RDS, the radio data system that'll show you what you're listening to, station, track information, what have you, for stations that are putting that out. The base unit doesn't have that. Now the same package that brings you this upgraded audio system, which by the way has no video ability. There's no AV inputs, there's no DVD playback. You've got to go to the nav system for that. It'll also bring you, however, one video trick, which is a rear view camera. Small, yes, but quite clear and very well saturated in terms of colors. So it's one of the more usable ones. Good detail. And in that same package, you also get the Bluetooth hands-free technology, home link for your garage door, dual zone ATC, and a few other niceties. So this guy comes with a lot of things attached to it. It's not a la carte. Transmission-wise, you've got two choices, and they're a pick. There's no cost for either one. Six-speed manual would be considered base, but this could be considered base, too. This is a Xtronic CVT, or Continuously Variable Transmission, and it's no extra cost. You just decide which one you want. Now, our car is a 2.5S. That means a 2.5-liter inline 4. It's about as big as 4s get, really, before you got to add a couple cylinders. You're going to get 170 horsepower, 180 so foot-pounds out of this thing. 0 to 60 is pushing 8 seconds in the mid to high 7s, and 2332 is the MPG. Shave off 1 MPG on the highway if you get a CVT. First off, we're talking today about an Ultima Coupe 2.5 four-cylinder, and we'll snoop around the engine bay in a minute. There's also a 3.5 V6. This 2.5 is finished in navy blue with a charcoal cloth interior. Frankly, it's kind of dowdy in person. The optional navigation head unit is hard drive based. It bumps you up to a necessary 6.5-inch touchscreen LCD with XM nav traffic, XM weather, Zagat restaurant listings all there on the display. On the road, our CVT-equipped car is a willing runner. The 2.5-liter 4 proves its bigness with ready torque in real-world situations, and the whole mess is well-programmed to shift down and get power out to those front wheels when you ask for it. That's more than I can say for a lot of cars that hang on to top gear way too eagerly. In spite of being a coupe, there's nothing really sporty about this car, though nimble and capable are definitely more than fair labels. Okay, let's price an Ultima Coupe 2.5S, the four-cylinder, about 23000 base with destination. You gotta add two packages to get this thing done up CNET style, though. One is the premium package for about two grand, and that's gonna get you the Bose audio system, it's gonna get you the rear view camera, power glass roof, dual zone climate, and some other niceties. Then you've gotta add the tech package for 1800 to get the hard drive navigation with the music jukebox, nine gig there, uh, DVD playback, A2DP streaming, the XM nav traffic, XM nav weather, and those Zagat restaurant listings. Watch all of your favorite live streaming CNET shows at CNET Live. 
You'll find a schedule of what's showing next, and you can chat live with the hosts and other listeners during the show. CNET Live at CNET.com slash live.